The Los Angeles Lakers have brought in Magic Johnson to take the place of Mitch Kupchak. That's right. Awesome move. Because the LA Lakers were starting to look like... Uh, yeah. The Atlanta Hawks. I mean, nothing gets the Atlanta Hawks, but the Hawks were just not making it happen. But I'm talking about the Lakers. The LA Lakers of the last year plus looked like a group of young men who were basically out there just playing recreational basketball and hoping to get discovered for a movie or take part of their monies and produce their own movies and television shows. They seemed as if they were just sort of going through the motions, waiting for the game to get over so they could go to the hottest club, pick up on the hottest women, and then go back, play basketball, do it all over again, meet a woman, dump her, or go out with another one behind that woman's back, or go out with both of the women. You get the idea. Basketball was secondary. When, they, when the Lakers brought in Luke Walton from the Warriors, I had hoped that they may have found the right spark. But because of the fact that the Warriors' offense is, well, basically a league standard now, people are used to defending it, the Lakers couldn't quite pull it off like the Warriors could with their talent. But deeper than that, the Lakers didn't have and don't have that killer instinct of Laker teams past. Those teams wanted to win so bad that they went out and they took the court with the idea that you weren't going to get the ball, they were going to score every time, not necessarily let you know about it, but quite simply make it feel like, from a basketball perspective, they were trying to cut your throat. Now I'm talking about teams led by Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, and others. That's what I'm talking about. If Magic Johnson can restore, it's going to take a lot of effort. That kind of ferocity to the LA Lakers, the Western Conference is going to be a quite a different show to watch. Stay tuned.